you need to make more power calls. Yes, yes you do. I just keep forgetting to do that. It's the thing about this game just in general. Part of the reason I keep forgetting to do that is because the the limited inventory is objectively bad. Except certain big YouTubers basically These said. People are wrong. Certain big YouTubers said if you're complaining about the inventory, you're playing the game wrong. These people are fucking wrong. Because when they streamed the game and they didn't have a problem with the inventory, therefore it's not a problem with the game, it is a problem with the player. That one looks like it's male. It's male. I think is that one also male? Male. They're both male. Damn it. That's the back of a column, dude. Male. There's a probably uh just move on with the uh, hot spot. for a little bit. Gee, let's go for it. And find an area to dump my crap. Oh, speaking of. You have to come back here anyway. Mm. That worked. You can dump all your crap. Yay. This is the best battle system ever made, man. No, it fucking isn't. You act like it's not the best battle. Okay. Where's the... It's idol? the box. Oh, yeah. Damn it. <laughs> Seriously. Oh, and before... Before I do dump crap, I might as... Well, I don't have to go to craft anything anyway. Because most of your items are miscellaneous nonsense. So you could store... You also have the grit! A good bit of those if you want to use... Uh, where? You have seven, you have fifteen. Those raise the stat levels. And you have some experience candy as well. So then at this oh wrong button, so then at this which one is the experience candy? Sorry. It's the square. It was over the it's the blue square, you have six medium. Gets it closer to a whole And then thing. you have the little the grit stones. Where? Seven. Oh. And those raise the like those E V IV stats. The effort level. I guess that's like okay. I'm guessing I can't raise speed because that means it's max. Um to the you can raise speed, but you need your other stones. Oh. So then I guess let's give one to your defense, one to your HP. Regular attack, I should say that. It's stronger now. Other people might be around you. Special attack. Defense. Special defense, so the things will be able to survive shit longer. Their defense is already two. Special defense is one, and special attack are also one, so fuck, I guess. HP, then. You had 15 of those stones in storage, and a couple of the next level variant. Yeah, let's start fucking using this shit. There, there was a move all at once button, which is X. You just click X, and you can move everything.
The six are to go beyond stats, mm -hmm. as you can see. Mm -hmm. So you can use. See what I mean? You should be able to figure out how these work at this point. That's no, that's an I stats during a battle. Oh. Those are you would want to use the regulars, and when something hits three, you can use the black bag stones on them. That's how this works. So then I guess it's the ignore attack up to the three, then your special attack. Let's also get that to three. I will get your defense to three because it was, yeah. already, it was already close. Special attack is well. This is how you use these. I guess I'm. There's a, a point. I guess time to. Uh, uh, pump these mostly into the starter Sorry. because I'm always going to have the starter around. Yes. What nature did I? It's it's a neutral. It doesn't raise oh. or lower anything. Ah, oh, okay. So I can actually give it one so nature mint. It's I can give it special attack later if I want to keep it pure. And nature mints exist in this game. And at that. Oh. Let's definitely raise your your attack up. Your special attack is definite. Like your eyes up. I can't get storm drain, so I will fucking cope and You have one more of those for something. I'm going to save yeah. that. There you go. See? Easy. Easy clap. Have to sell that later. Yeah. And that basically evened out your Pokemon a little bit. To be here for a. As you do. Minute. Okay, don't don't need to revive. Her. And then I start us. Oh, for candy. I could use that. How how close is thirty six? That would be thirty seven. I might save that for when they get to forty exactly. Thunderstone, when the a Pichu happiness didn't exist in this game, right? Uh, I think it does. Uh, because I was, I was going to <laughs> but say, is your happiness exists? Yeah, I guess. Just a lot of those. I could, um, let's actually take the experience handy small. I have a few of those. Let's see how much, like, Experience do these give? Yeah, because it's smaller. Yeah. Okay. No, okay, yeah, yeah. I'm not going to use those. All the other management. <laughs> well, actually, I'll leave the starter as close to level up, so. Close enough. Okay, we're done now. Well, we're done using that now. Mm-hmm. Oh, 
smaller. And I... Yeah. I don't have the uh, ability to craft anything. Okay, so I'll craft. It's a dump every... Let's just dump everything into the... Okay, keep the orange berries because... Yeah. Need food. <laughs> To that then. Another uh, filler. I'm almost tempted now that I've increased some things stats. I'm almost tempted to actually go back to like that rose <laughs> or raid alpha to just see because that like I will be fair and say that was a small problem is uh, having was had it been increasing things stats, but that's also iron is needed in some pokeball recipes you want to grab. And the, like the tumble stones, so you might want to at least always have iron, iron, iron chunk, and the tumble stones. What's the tumble stone? The wooden looking thing? That nut. Those are needed in Pokeball production. <laughs> the rest of your inventory. You can't. Cr see what no, I mean? I just wanted to see what. Yeah, if we're going black tumble stone. Yeah. Oh, hey, they ain't going to actually make more drink at home. Yeah, exactly. I'm going to go back to, to a town, then see if I can get more uh, um, recipes from the one guy. Because doesn't he sell you? No, like... no, most of your Pokeball recipes are earned from the story. He sells you just a couple of important items. You need to. I, I more wanted to see just what crafting shit I could get from him, not inherently Paul Crawls. It was just a couple of. like, boosting items and shit. It's, uh, it, moves on, it seems like it just moves on a similar way anyway. Yes! After this uh, little bit of a story, I might, if I can, do side quests. There's tons of side quests. Now, which one of... I can never remember which one of these is the fucking crafting guy. It's the bench. It's the dude with the bench on the other side. Like, see the little bench thing? It's right there. There's a crafting bench, so... That's the bench for crafting. So the guy you want. That's what I. Yeah. Crafting recipes. That's it. Oh, nice. You fall. Remedy. A uh, fine uh, remedy. Fine king. So it's. Dire hat. Okay, you did some that. of the stat, just some. A recipe for. Yeah. Crafting. Hmm. I wish uh, the game would tell me what these would do. They're, they're well, the remedy and fine remedy. Those make sense. That sounds like that would be a healing item and dire hit. That's the X item for crits, isn't it? That's a crit item. Dire hits are crits. Yeah, I have a decent amount of money. You have to play other Pokemon games to know the fucking crit thing, but there you go. I just know that off the top of my head. Remedy. Wait, I thought remedies were something else. Oh wait, no, that was no. The, that was the Raider Madison Idol. No. Oh. Stump strength. Oh, that, that could be useful. That's <laughs> pretty decent. Yes. Dire hit and I don't know. It boosts the uh, uh, crit ratio during battle. Yeah. Okay. Told you. Mm -hmm. It's some good items for other random nonsense. Okay, now let's. Ooh, 
Boy, that's a lot. Uh, I guess we're going chronological order. So six. What is uh, that? They uh, want a mushroom. One springy mushroom. So can I have to find that? <laughs> Why? Over here. Crafting, I have to go to the item box to, to see if I have one of those in storage. I don't think I. I'm pretty do. sure no. Why can't I ride the weird ear and stuff in the village? That's just silly. Wait, there you did have some mushrooms in the first place. It's really yeah. mushroom. Never mind. Never, for, never fucking mind. No. no. I have to find jack shit. Easy. That's done. I need to now find the fucking the person that. That's the main yeah, story. The... Give Lord mushroom. I now need to find. You can do the turn on guidance. It's, it's, uh, the, then they're probably in the first world map. Oops. Actually, the turn on guidance. Uh, no, you're. The, there's a mark. Yeah. Oh, it is the first. Yeah, exactly. We're gonna be like right the fuck here. Hopefully. Right the fuck there. Yeah. Easy. Springy mushrooms. Mushroom cake. What is this? Thousand year door? Wasn't the shroom cake kind of cracked though? It takes cake mix and you can only. The only way to get cake mix in that game is through the casino tokens, isn't it? Yes. Yeah, so of course it's fucking cracked. The only way you can get cake is gambling. Part name. That's the perfect no context part, man. The only way to get cake is gambling. Number 15 is. Ah, oh, the balloon race. <laughs> Isn't that also on this map, funny? Oh, yeah, it's over yeah. there. Huh, well, I guess. Time to finally <laughs> uh, do this. You have to ride the weird ear and pop a minimal amount of balloons. You don't have to be perfect, you just need... Now, I misunderstood the objective a little bit, screwed off, and I still won this. And the reason I screwed up the objective a little bit for a microsecond, I forgot that deer could jump. <laughs> Though... My favorite fucking mess up is the balloon um, popping game where you have to throw Pokeballs. I thought you had to score 100,000 points, and I got 90. I was like, damn it, I didn't get 100. And then I realized, oh, I needed to get 10,000. <laughs> I want to pop me up. So this is... Yeah. You ride the weird ear down a track. And you hit balloons. You have to hit them in a row. And sometimes you have to jump. You just need a bare minimum score. You don't need all the balloons. I, I won this, but I forgot you could fucking jump. You know, when I remember that, I was like, oh yeah, that's a mechanic. That's what I mean. That. 
Oh, so the game says press with Y. Yeah, I just forgot you could fucking jump for a second. I don't know, uh... I don't know why this is making me think of Mad World of all games. Maybe it's because the, the balloons are sort of moving in a way like one of the golf mini games. Anyway. You, you're you like barely over the score. You got it. You did a little bit better than I did. Well, I... I was hitting the uh, jumping balloons. Yeah. No, I, when I remembered you could jump, I ended up jumping and yeah, see, you win. There you go. Your target was at least 17 and you had almost 30. It's time for the question of the day and my overall thoughts on the topic. So anyway, I thought I would ask this because we were talking about it and I think I asked a similar question to this before, but I often end up repeating questions if it's been a while. Sorry if anyone is watching these in mass and notices that I did repeat a few things, as I often tend to do. Anyway, what is your opinion on the inventory system in this game? And did you ever have a problem with it? Because I am sorry, I really do think all these big YouTubers missed the entire point just because they did not have a problem with the inventory doesn't mean it's arbitrary, limited, and bad. You end up constantly needing to drop by the one storage box and put items away and I think that is a bit excessive but so many people were like oh it's fine it's not that bad just drop by every time you show the professor your Pokedex progress if you're complaining about needing to deposit items you're just bad at inventory management and yes I will concede that dropping by the camp to store items is not that much of a hindrance, but I feel like you need to do that way more than these big YouTube channels were acting like you did, because even with multiple inventory expansions, I still feel like you constantly run out of room for no good reason, and it goes a bit beyond being a small necessary inconvenience and turns into a massive arbitrary hindrance, because let's be real here, there is no reason that the inventory should have a limit. They did it to make the game be focused around collecting, and this semi-open world aspect as if it's a Monster Hunter game, but in my opinion, all this does is cap your resources for no reason because I don't think that this game should have been focused on resource management in the way that it is because you're supposed to collect and study Pokemon, so they tied a very arbitrary limitation to your inventory. And your inventory is rather tiny. And all this does is make it harder to carry around what you actually need. And I feel like this was to perpetuate the crafting. And that always bothers me because tons of crafting mechanics limit the player to make the crafting more useful by force basically instead of having a natural progression system with crafting that makes sense they force you to carry around limited items and really force you to constantly craft 
just because the game is built around making you use the resources. And I feel that kind of bogs down Legends a good bit. Anyway, you can leave your thoughts, opinions, and answers in the comments. Or you can leave them on social media. All of my social media links, as well as my Discord links, are in the video description. Now, as always, I need to be a shill for a minute. If you subscribe to the channel, and if you follow me on social media, that really helps our communities grow. But anyway, I hope you all enjoyed the video, and I hope I will see you all next time. So as always, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, or good night, everybody. I hope you come back someday. See you later.